Okay, I'm going to try to make um, a low, wide bowl that comes, it's not going to be that big, but that comes straight out. Um, I'm going to be using two ribs to try to do this. I have not done this in years, so it could be fun. Oops. So, I'm going to open it like I would any bowl. This one I'm going to give it a very large floor. Because of the style, serving bowl, coffee table bowl, whatever it's going to be. Right now I'm just compressing the floor. Just going back and forth with my thumb, which is steadied by my other thumb, which is steadied by my elbows on my thighs, and my feet on the floor or on the pedal. All right, so I got a nice floor going there, I think. And now I'm going to work on that transition from the floor to the wall. I'm not worried about anything else. I'm just feeling that transition. I have an idea how it's going to come out eventually. So I'm trying to get that end in mind angle into this little teeny piece from the floor to the wall. So I didn't come straight up, I came just out a little. Now I don't want to bring my rim out until I'm at the very last thing. So now I'm just going to try to get floor transition and I'm going to start to bring the wall pretty much straight up. Right now my wall is probably almost a half an inch thick. So floor, transition, and thin out my wall. Pretty much straight up. I'm not trying to make my bowl shape yet. I'm focusing on what it looks like on the inside. Floor, transition, wall, pretty much straight up. Because if I start to go out even a little bit, it's going to really go out which I'm going to make it do eventually, I hope. Floor, I'm just feeling it pretty much. Transition, get my clay if I have any little extra right here, and bring it up. Rim. Collar. Another thing I like to use sometimes, which I'm also rusty at, is this wonderful um, rib. I can't pronounce his name. He's on YouTube. Because it helps you with floor transition. It helps you get that curve in there the way you want it. It's really nice. And the finger grooves are very helpful. Okay, so. Now what I'm going to try to do is take two ribs, one in each hand. I'm going to try to get this to come way out. So I should use the rounded end and the flat end, I think. And I'm gonna to try to compress that clay so much that it goes out further than it really should. Now, this could work 
or it could flop, but that's what you do. Okay, I got a good hold of this rib inside. I'm watching the inside more than anything. Want to make sure that it looks good from the inside. And compressing with the ribs, I'm coming out. Lightening my pressure as I get to the rim. Now, I'm a little bit of a coward right now doing this, so I'm going to make sure it's good and wet. Not that wet. Make sure I still have a nice shape in here. I do. And I'm going to try to bring it out even more. Floor transition. And then my wall. Mm, there's not much clay left, so I have to be careful. Okay, see, I don't like this, so I'm going to see what I can do to fix that. I don't know if you can see it, but the transition from in the wall isn't good in my world. Got to keep my eyes on the inside, <clears throat> the inside shape and form. to feel this and see what I think. Anyone who knows bowls knows that this is about to go, just about to flop. I could leave it just how it is, but not me. Didn't come out how I wanted, so 
I'm going to try to fix it. That's how you learn. What's happened is this part here is way too thin and this part's thick and I've got a transition lump right there. And the more it just sits here, the more it's gonna fall. So I'll try it one more time and then if it doesn't work, I'll do what I teach my students. little bowl. Yep, you can always do that. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. But that's okay. Yeah, this has had it. So what I teach my students all the time is never leave a good, never scrape a good piece of clay off the wheel. If you have a bloop, <laughs> you can always do something with whatever's left on the wheel. So this is going to become something. I'm watching the inside, trying to come straight up so I don't have that same problem again. Slowly bend over the rim a good three quarters of the inch and then I pinch it gently with my thumb to get that little bit of a indentation. And I'm going to leave it kind of rough and natural looking in there and give it an extra little swirl. And clean up the foot a little bit. And, <laughs> except I lost it. Oh, here it is. Use a little piece of chamois for the lip. Should I try again, Billy? Can your arms stand holding the camera for a whole nother pot? No. No? No. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay, so that's it. You can videotape me if you want. I'll say goodbye. Bye. Make it snappy.